this patient was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number 20. As you can see, decay into the pulp, periapical relucency, there was buccal swelling also associated with the tooth. Be careful with the mental foramen right there and mental nerve. You don't want to get sealer, got a perch, all that stuff on here. And here's the post-op, so take a look here. Remove the decay, rebuild the missing walls. And as you can see, one canal system, the apical diameter was over 50. So I placed an MTA plug followed by gutter perch and sealer and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to his dentist for the permanent restoration. Again, I did this in one appointment. When I accessed the tooth endodontically, endodontically there was perilline discharge and I irrigated with 6% sodium hypochloride, activated the sodium hypochloride, and did my instrumentation and shaping. And at the end, used microsuction, used paper points, and my canal was dry. There was no discharge. The discharge had, had stopped. So didn't need to place calcium hydroxide. There's no reason. Again, I showed you, God knows, hundreds of cases. I have over 2,000 videos posted right now and uh, on my instagram TikTok, and youtube over 2000 anyways showing you that to visit endodontics or endodontic retreatment is not necessary if your canals are dry and that was the case i checked with sterile paper points taken to working length removed them looked at them examined them they were all dry so placed an MTA plug, use white MTA, MTA plug, followed by gutter perch and sealer, again, in one appointment. Excellent. Now, some of you ask me, why do you use MTA? Why do you use MTA plug? Well, my rule of thumb is when my apical diameter is 50 or more, I, and it's possible, it's possible, I use an MTA plug. MTA gives me a better apical seal versus gutter perch and sealer. It gives me a better apical seal. And also MTA really is good because when you're near anatomy, sensitive anatomy like this, got a perch and sealer, especially if you have a, as I said, a, a large apical diameter, you can get got a perch and sealer extruded out of the canal and into the space and it can, it can really compromise, cause, cause problems for you and the patient. So MTA plug is more manageable, it seals better. And that's why I use MTA when my apical diameter is 50 or more.